this is um right so this is got fire here right um welcome to a minecraft video in this video i will be showing off a new concept i've created in which i close this right so um in which so in 1.9 you may have noticed that when you do flesh summon ender dragon it just <laughs> So it's a little bit annoying. So I decided that I was going to create a concept in which you take a dragon egg and to put an endermine on top of it or wait for one to get to it, and then it summons an ender dragon that actually flies around. Um so let's get into how I do this and how you can do it. It's a one command and it's way easier to download than my previous ones. So all you have to do is go to my website at guessfire2004.weebly.com or you can look at the link in the description and then you want to go to one commands up in the corner and scroll down to the first one command because there's not any more which is endermites fertilized dragon x and then you're just going to take this all and um, copy it with control c go back into minecraft take a command block and then going to paste it with control V. And then it should go in here and then you press always active and just leave the command block. And then the machine generates really fast. Hi, fertilized eggs in vanilla by guess fire 2004. Only four commands. It's a small machine. It's really easy, but it's sort of cool so that you can actually summon an ender dragon now. So we just have this up. So you can shift click onto the egg to, because otherwise it will just teleport or something or you can build up a little pillar and then just put the ender mite on it but i'm going to shift click because it looks better and then it just summons this ender dragon which sort of glitches off this side for a second and then when you get close it actually starts flying around again which is so cool there's actually an ender dragon it sort of goes in circles though but in case you're just looking for an ender dragon that actually has somewhat of an AI system, then this might be useful for you. If we're, or if you're in survival, you want to do something like, uh, I don't know, does it attack you? I don't know, if you want to have a giant ender dragon, a you know, statue thing. I'm not sure what you'd want to do with it, but you can summon an ender dragon to actually move around. The way I did this was really quite simple. Let's just let that fly around. So, I executed all endermites and I detect right underneath them a dragon egg zero. Um, and then, if that's true, then it does entity data at e c equals one, which I'm pretty sure means that that's true for, and type equals endermite, and it gives them the custom name of fertilize. And then, execute at e, name equals fertilize, type equals endermite and set block negative one below them as air, which destroys the dragon egg. And then it executes them again, and it summons a bat above their head, which passengers ender dragon, which means that an ender dragon is on top of the bat. For some reason, then the bat sort of goes that way, and then this way, and then it dies because of the ender dragon, and the ender dragon flies backwards and then it creates this thing. I don't know if that's a glitch, it might be fixed, but if not, then you can just summon in enter dragons in survival with that are stationary. I don't really care. But, um, and then it kills the endermite and fertilize. So, as you can see, this will all happen. So it'll set the block, it'll kill the block, then it'll summon the ender dragon and kill the endermite. See? Look, that's exactly how it works. And then the dragon just stays there until you get close. And now we have two ender dragons going to kill the ender dragons. So, there will be a link to my website in the description. There's also a map download on there. Um, it's not quite finished, so... I mean, it's a pretty bad map, but... It was my first map ever, so... Yeah, 
I may also put resource packs or whatever on. So thank you for watching this video. Check out my website. Goodbye.